My computer hates me right now. It, it, it totally- oh god. Let's play Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Weasel and today we're going to figure out how fair this game is. We're going to do mirrored battles. What does that mean? That means we're going to put down similar or basically the same armies on each side of the map and we're going to figure out if red or blue is going to win unproportionately often. And we're going to do these matches two times just to make sure it's not random. And at the end of everything, we're going to know what team to pick if you play someone like IGP. All right, first we're going to start with the peasants. All right, so we have 60 units of uh, peasants on each side and we're going to observe the chaos. Look at that. Blue is weirdly stuck to each other. There's some fighting happening. It's it's a massacre, guys. It's a massacre. Uh, but from what it looks like, I couldn't even tell at this point. I could not tell. I'm gonna say red is in the lead? Maybe? I mean, they're, they're, he's carrying around his injured friend. That is comradery to, to its best. And then they're gonna, gonna rob each other. These guys are clearly making out there. And now it's a, okay, wait, who's winning? It's, it is very close. I will say it is very close. Oh man, it is super close actually. Blue victory. And now just to be on the safe side, we're gonna do the whole thing again, just to see what the outcome is now. I do appreciate the view here. This is really good. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's just like my last birthday party. Fantastic. <laughs> That is one huge pile of dead people. Dead naked men everywhere. This time red is winning. Actually, we have a few ahead. So that was not very conclusive. How about we try a box of boxers? 24 units each pointing right at each other. So we don't have to wait too long for them to run. And uh, let's see how this goes. This is basically the next test. We're going to do it two times and... <laughs> oh my... Okay, they're they're way more aggressive than the peasants. Who would have thought red clearly winning the winning there? It's not even close. We have like six people. Well, let's try that again, shall we? All right, punch them in the nuts, guys. I want I want to see some fighting. Red is I guess supposed to win again if it if we're oh wow look at that yes red again winner and just just to make sure this is not a fluke we're gonna do it a third time. Oh wow one is already dead. How did that happen? Dude, you, you didn't even fight. <laughs> that was a beautiful, beautiful win, but it, it's not even close. Red won again. And I don't, I don't see the reason. Now, po we all know that poachers are pretty OP. They're very good units and they work really well. The question is, how good are they going to do when they fight each other in a murdered battle and who's going to win? What poacher is better? Is it red or blue poachers? All right, we have 60 units on each side. Let's do this. Let's see how the poachers are, are faring. They're probably gonna kill each other. <clears throat> that is a very fair assumption to make. Oh my god. It's just, it's raining arrows everywhere. Um, from what I can see so far, red is wreaking quite a bit of havoc, but blue has the better angle. Way better angle. And I'm surprised how bad they are at aiming. Come on guys, let's do this. Ooh. Blue is destroying the red poachers. Come on, guys. You got this clutch. He's still alive with an arrow for his head. God, they're all so dead. Blue clearly winning with like 10 more poachers. Let's let's see that again and see if anything changes. Oh, it's a beautiful massacre. Where are you guys even shooting? There's arrows flying everywhere. Just not where they're supposed to. Come on. Do your thing. Oh god, right through the noggins. Right in the noggins, guys. Oh, he's stuck to his friend there. Oh wait, I think, I don't, I don't even know what's going on anymore. But it seems that red is winning this time. Not as clear this time, but red is winning. Yep, red winning with like nine more units or ten. This time this is not very clear. <laughs> This is beautiful. I think I think red is, is is shredding it this time. If only they would shoot in the right. How are the arrows even flying straight up? How is that even possible? You're not aiming that way. This time blue has the better aim. Yep, he's alive with an arrow through his head. He, he doesn't care. He's fine. This is fine. Red victory. So this wasn't very clear either. What about footman? I ask you. 
I ask you, what about footman? And again, we have an equal amount of units on each side. 31 footman on the blue and on the red side. And they're gonna shred each other, hopefully. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight for sore eyes. This battle is not gonna last very long, I think. Uh, at least I would assume so. And it look- where are you guys running? What? Okay, they're so excited just running around in circles. Good for them. Poke him in the butt. What are you guys? This is not safe. Work safety on the workplace, guys. Please remember the seminar we had about that. <sighs> and blue is winning with four footmen remaining. Is blue gonna win again? Who knows? If I had to bet, I would say I have no idea. I'm not gonna bet because betting is silly if you don't know, if you're if you're really not sure about the outcome. Blue just destroyed the red team. One more time. One more time to make sure. If blue wins again, we learned a valuable lesson. That I have no idea. Oh, red is gonna win this time. Yep, they are. Unle unless blue clutches magically. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, he's coming for you. He's coming for you. That, ooh, that hurt. Well, red is winning this time. Okay, it's time to move on to bigger things. Maybe this time we're gonna have a clear answer. Who is better? I, I just... <laughs> Giant cannon battles are fun. We should just we should just do crazy battles like that again. Okay, uh, who's winning? Oh, they're oh they're still manned. I don't know with what advantage blue won here, but I think it's two cannons. What about this time? Of the you do your beautiful beautiful belay things. He doesn't even turn around anymore. <laughs> He's just straight up gone. So much for consistency. Red one. Come on, guys, stop doing synchronized cannon riding and put an end to this. Oh, wow. Red just wrecked them. Huh. Okay, let's ramp up the amount of cannons. 32 in each side. Maybe that'll do the trick. Maybe that'll make it clear. It like, makes it clear that war is not beautiful. It's pretty funny here, but it's not, not pretty. Okay, who's still alive? I see some red guys. I see some unmanned cannons on the blue side. Magical ghost cannons without people shooting from them. Red won again. It's super clear that we just need more cannons. I think in the 40s, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thank God. Kill him, boys! Kill him! My money is on red, considering that red won 3 to 1 the same matches, matches with cannons. For the glory of the red motherland! Damn it! Uh, blue one. Of course, blue one. How about fifty chariots versus fifty chariots? My computer hates me right now. It, it, it totally. Oh god. This is silly. The, the poor horses or reindeers or whatever they are. They're definitely dead. He's still alive, I think. He's holding on like a trooper. I cannot tell who's winning this. If anyone is winning this, it's it's just sad. It's just a sad state of affairs. Okay, they're just still driving. Oh, this one's dead. Red is winning. I'm just gonna believe the game here and say that red won. Oh, this guy just- they just straight up fall off their horses before everything's- anything's happening. Oh my god, come on. There- there's a big degree of randomness to this. Blue won! God, this needs slow motion. Oh my god. <laughs> I see nothing. And everything. And just a body floating. It's just slowly floating to the ground, not giving a damn. You know who, who really won here? Who really won this? The chariot manufacturers. These people win. So the blue side won 8 battles, whereas the red side won 11 battles. Out of a total of 19 battles. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not very clear. I'm gonna say a big part of all of this is strategy and randomness. So what units you use and where you place them definitely makes sense. But also, the randomness plays a huge factor, especially with AI that decides on random factors. I don't know why they do it. I have no idea. Maybe we will eventually learn. Until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye!